Hey everyone, Face here with uh, number six in my tutorial series, and uh, I do apologize for the delay, but um, uh, work and other business has been uh, keeping me rather busy this week, so I just haven't been able to uh, uh, get anything put together. Uh, I have made some significant progress. When last I left you, uh, I had I was just about to uh, wire my uh, my ship together. Uh, and uh, attach the top and bottom halves of the ship. And, uh, well, you know, I guess why beat around the bush? Let's, let's get right to it. And uh, there it is. It's all wired up. Um, I got the, uh, the battery snap uh, inserted in, uh, and uh, running up to the uh, uh, positive terminals, which split off to uh, go up to the... Uh, I stock up at the top and then off to each of the uh, circuits in the base and the negative terminal just runs up here to the uh, the hub which is uh, uh, covered in uh, heat shrink tubing. That's one thing I keep forgetting to do is to demonstrate how to uh, how to use heat shrink but uh, it's it's basically dead simple. Uh, it comes in this uh, this long tubing. Uh, you just trim off however much you use. You can use a uh, um, a heat gun or a hair dryer or like I said I typically use a soldering iron because it's quick and uh, fairly efficient um, and it just goes together really fast but uh, here I'll just hook it up and uh, there we go um, all the lights in the uh, the main body are working and there is the uh, eye stock uh, which I've, mine, uh, I've got uh, a piece of masking tape over the LED so basically now all I've got to do is I've got to tape it up, or is uh, rather I've got to uh, glue it together and uh, uh, give it one quick pass. Uh, you can see there the um, there's a little bit of a light leak uh, through the the bottom of the eye stock. I give it got to give it a quick pass, a flat black, and then uh, hit it with a primer and uh, sand it lightly, and then it'll be ready to paint. So there she is. She's all assembled. And uh, as you can see, it's mounted to the base, um, pretty much ready to be painted, uh, save for uh, one little detail. If you look here in the front lens, you can very clearly make out the three spots of light from the LEDs. In fact, you can almost see the wiring still inside. Uh, you can kind of get a, an impression of it. Um, and that is one last thing I've got to rectify. And uh, I will demonstrate how to uh, how to solve that little problem uh, in the next little bit. Um, as for the rest of it, uh, I'm quite pleased with how it's turned out. The uh, all the clear parts, none of the, nothing's glued in place yet. They're just kind of wedged in into the openings. Um, but I'm very very happy with uh, with how they've turned out so far. Um, that one kind of has a tendency to sag a little bit, so I'll have to glue it before I go too far. But um, uh, on the underside, you can see the three uh, spots of light on the bottom um, for the uh, um, what was originally intended to be the tripod effect that uh, didn't really work out in the uh, the original visual effects. But um, anyway, if you'll just permit me a moment, I'll pop this off. There, you can take a look inside. Uh, you can see all the wiring. Um, and uh, the battery that uh, runs it is hiding somewhere in the back. Um, the way I've designed this is uh, rather than running power through the base like I've done with uh, some of my other models like my uh, my NX01 and my uh, 1701A um, where I've concealed the wiring in, in the base, uh, I've actually just gone ahead and installed the, uh, the battery inside. Um, and uh, it can be it can be removed just by basically pulling it out uh, from the inside. It's quite simple. Um, you can see all of the assorted uh, circuits. Everything's working just fine. Um, there's uh, one thing I neglected to include when I was designing this was a uh, an on off switch, which I probably could have done fairly simply. In fact, I might have even been able to work some kind of on off switch that was triggered by the eye stock, you know, turning it from one side to the other 
would uh, turn the lights on, but because of the nature of this build being just a very hastily done demo of how I how I work, um, you know, I really didn't want to uh, invest that much effort into into uh, making this like a real showpiece or anything really fancy or impressive. I just kind of my mantra, as I've referred to before, has basically been quick and dirty. Um, so as it is, now I've, uh, it's basically ready for paint. Um, I'll probably fix the seams a little bit. Uh, there's a bit of a seam around the bottom side, but nothing too significant. I'll probably just, uh, run a little bit of, uh, glue, some thin, uh, uh, thin glue into it and give it a quick sanding. And then, uh, uh, hit it with a coat of primer and then, uh, spray it with, uh, Tamiya, uh, copper. And uh, then it'll be uh, it'll be done. So one of my favorite ways to uh, diffuse the light in a clear part is to use uh, a good liberal application of flat clear acrylic. Uh, you may have heard me refer to uh, frosting a piece of uh, clear plastic with uh, a bit of flat clear in some of my earlier videos. And basically, this is what I do: is I uh, I just spray the clear part inside and out with uh, a good thick layer of uh, flat clear and that has the effect of essentially uh, reducing the transparency of the clear plastic um, sufficiently that uh, the, the light is spread out over a larger area. So now, um, let's just, uh, you know, rather than beat around the bush and talk about it. Let's just, uh, I'll give you a little demonstration. So you can see there, uh, it's still very transparent, but, um, somewhat less so. Uh, the opacity has been increased, and if you look at it from the backlight, um, you can see it's, uh, it's like I said, it's still very transparent, but uh, it's been essentially, like I, as I say, it's been essentially frosted. So it's, uh, uh, the, the light is a little less likely to pass through it so evenly. Um, or so uh, to, at, at like a single point, so it will it will spread out a little bit more. Um, it's not a perfect technique, uh, but it's a good first step.